The only thing worse for a footballer whose own supporters haven't come up for a song about him is when there is a ditty, and a good one as well, but nobody knows it. With sincere apologies to the family of David Bowie and those who love won the great man's 1972 single which featured on the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spider from Mars, here's an example. He's a star man playing down the right. His name is James E. Forrest and he's, rude word, dynamite. Come on, that's brilliant. It might not blow anyone's minds but that's a terracing anthem right there. For something so catchy it strangely hasn't caught on. I would start the campaign now but that takes effort and it's been so long since I did anything worthwhile. Brendan Rodgers every so often would bring up this lack of a song for his winger. By all accounts, it causes some mirth within the dressing room. Not that Forrest cares. He's not the type to let anything bother him. This attitude has served him well. At 27-year-old, he is only six games away from 350 Celtic appearances. This season's title will bring him to 16 winners' medals, putting him on the all-time list behind Scott Brown, Billy McNeil and Bobby Lennox. Decent company. Every club in the country wanted this kid when he was at primary school. He chose the club he supported and has been a fixture in the first team since Neil Lennon's first season in 2010-11. Once booed by his own supporters when his name was announced before a Champions League playoff against Shakhtar Karagandhi, Forrest was strong enough to ignore such nonsense, played superbly in the second leg at Parkhead, helping his team to get level in the qualifier, they lost 2-0 in Kazakhstan, before scoring a super winner in the last minute. For some reason there's a section of our support that can't take the him, but I thought he was magnificent, so said Lennon and he was right on both counts. For three seasons, Forrest has been superb. Before the arrival of Rodgers, he enjoyed some superb games, was voted Young Player of the Year in 2012 by both his fellow players and the football writers, but even the best wingers are consistent and this caused him to be picked on. There is no other way to put it. This quiet, modest lad has become a modern Celtic great, according to Lennon. Surely now nobody would disagree. James has really come on in the last few seasons, said a delighted John Kennedy, the Celtic coach, who has always been a fan. He's become a real integral part of the team. Under Neil, he was terrific when he burst on the scene and had a great period. Under Ronnie Dela, not so much but in Brendan's time he really came on again. He was out the team, getting some injuries, and I think he probably reflected on that, and really went for it. For the winner against Rangers, that's not an easy finish. When the ball is coming across and he's being closed down from behind, his touch and shot is first class. But James has shown that a number of times and he's a crucial part of our team right now. Forrest had a strong claim to be player of the year last time around and while, for me, Callum McGregor has done enough to win this time, his teammate is again in the running. It will be up to others to put forward the case for the winger. I think James's personality adds to him as he's a quiet type, said Kennedy. He doesn't really want the limelight. He doesn't like to put himself out there. He just plays his football. Even around the training ground, he is quiet, he does his work. But the most important thing for us is that he goes and performs and I think the fans, without being vocal about it, appreciate what he does. Certainly us in the background and on the training ground, we appreciate everything he gives to us. In the main, he's given us some massive goals but as part of the team, he's really important to us. It comes from James as well to keep pushing himself, keeping motivating himself. He's another one who has been here for a long time, has come through our system and knows what it is all about. These personalities and characters are important, especially in big games, such as the recent Rangers match. There was a lot on the line, there is the emotion, the atmosphere, which is an extra edge, but he has been through it all before. He knows what to expect. As Forrest himself admitted, things could hardly have gone better for him in recent times. 
perhaps that's why he is at long last being fully appreciated. The last couple of years have been unbelievable, and I just want to keep working hard, he said. If I can do that, I hope I can continue to add to everything I've achieved so far. Celtic is such a great club to play for, and even to this day, I love every minute of it.